Hello, everyone. I'm Soledad Muñiz from Inside Share. Um, I'm sorry not to be there, but glad to be with the video. Um, so we presented a case study for the challenge uh, about our work with the Institute of Environment and uh, International Institute of Environment and Development from the UK. Um, we worked during 2009 and 2010 in a project um, called Community-Based Adaptation in Africa uh, in four countries from that project, uh, South Africa, Malawi, Kenya, and Zimbabwe. Uh, you can have more details about the partners and everyone involved in the case study. Uh, but basically, we um, trained some of the NGO staff and community members involved in the project um, in participatory video to incorporate it in their monitoring and evaluation process. Um, it focused particularly in the monitoring aspect of um, monitoring climate events and in particular uh, their adaptation processes because this is um, an action research uh, project where, where people were really involved in suggesting and piloting adaptation, local adaptation techniques. Um, so mainly the participatory video process added value uh, to um, create a space for documenting qualitative information that before was quite hard for the partners to um, get uh, easily and at the same time um, involve and motivate um, and engage more the community in the process um, that generally in an action research space it sometimes is quite hard for the community to understand the purpose and see the value on their uh, participation. So through video, they were, uh, well, they gained skills and, and, and uh, were able to um, gave, give, sorry, their uh, opinions and visualize a little bit more the purpose. And at the same time, uh, because all the organizations, except the one in South Africa, chose to use indicators-based uh, processes, participatory and monitoring evaluation um, techniques, um, they also um, made them simple in a way that people could, uh, through storyboards, um, choose what to monitor, uh, which, which were indicators, and make them less ab abstract, particularly. Uh, in South Africa, it was different because they chose to blend participatory video with PG's mapping, um, adding value to, to, the, to the mapping process with qualitative data. So um, one of the main challenges they faced was, of course, in generally indicators-based processes are um, uh, they, they um, have to, to rec sorry, to document a lot of data. So they created um, calendars which were a, a bit over ambiguous at the beginning and, and uh, putting themselves in, 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 um, in a tight agenda, sorry. And in... During the process, they had to uh, revisit that and um, go more with, with what was real for them, for the community-based workers and, and those involved in the, in the process of documenting the events, for example, a harvest or a, a, um, a flood or any other uh, episode that they, they wanted to, to document uh, in, the, in the process of, of the project. Um, the... We think that generally participatory video also goes much better with story-based style techniques. So at the end of the process, all the, all the um, uh, trainees had the opportunity to reflect on the challenges and on the um, successes of the process through most significant change and participatory video that generally um, blends uh, as, as a tool, which is, uh, it fits quite well also. So um, we would like you also to, to uh, share with us, if you have time, um, your opinion on um, if you have used any story-based techniques before uh, or uh, participatory monitoring and evaluation tools and uh, blended with audiovisual tools and what was your experience or what were the challenges you faced and also maybe um, if you had any ideas and and so we can continue the discussion on the topic that, you know, we think is key for um, improving knowledge management uh, programs. Thank you.